Hi, so this is Elena and Michelle, and here's some 3D I made recently. Oh no, I see things! I didn't look! Okay. Oh, but it was, oh, dang, I meant to show you a final look though. Oh, did you? Yeah, no, wait. I didn't look. Because <laughs> um, everyone else is going to get to see it. I think I have it saved somewhere else. So this is going to be what everyone oh. else got to see from the very start. I see a skull. Oh, a masquerade one. <laughs> Ooh, like a deer. What's this one? Oh, that the one on its side is a Chinese opera mask. Mm. Which I the one no. on its side, I couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah, are you not proud of it? I just wanted to display them in a cute and creative way. <laughs> Turn it backwards, so you can see like the plaster inside. Yeah, don't worry. Do about they have it. pretty backgrounds, like inside? They hmm. No, because I have a mask. <laughs> Emma made me a mask, and it is plaster inside. Um, the outside's decorated. Yeah, all the insides were boring. I think I show them very little in this. I do do some detail, but it's not worth showing in the speed through, so don't even sweat it. So right now, I'm doing my thing, my chaotic process of just blocking out each kind of vague shape of each of them. That all reminds me of a parent trap when they're fencing. Mm, mm-hmm. It is a full... Or like Wednesday. They fence in Wednesday, too. Interesting. I watched Wednesday. Don't ask me any questions. <laughs> <laughs> You've already forgotten. No, I have, I have enough knowledge. Did Wednesday, did it have all the characters from the Addams Family? It did. And what was fun was that the, um, it says uh, spoilers, but <laughs> the, the bad guy was Wednesday, her actress from another, from Oh, Cr- past- Christina. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ricci, right? Yeah. Ricci? Ricci. Ricci? Is. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> We butchered it in all the different ways we could. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking, like, I was listening to our previous voiceovers, and I don't know if it's been every single video, but there are a lot of moments where we say something, and it's like a, oh, that's not how it's pronounced. Oh, no. kind of so we better just remain consistent. Mm-hmm. That should be one of the things we check off each time. I did want to preface me, because oh. I haven't done it yet. Oh, no. It's like, <laughs> if I've watched something and it's been more than a year that memory of watching it is all gone. Mm, okay. So if it seems like she's talking about a thing, she should know it. <laughs> it's not a given anymore. Uh-huh. Okay. So you need to put that one out there that I'm not trying to share things with all the knowledge in the world. Take it with lots of greens of salt. Ooh. With Himalayan pink salt. Mm, I should hope so. Speaking of Himalayan pink salt, <laughs> we had some at our rental house during our vacation, and so we got some while we, when we came back And here. we never had it before. Yeah, never had it. We're not cultured enough to have had a fun salt. <laughs> a cute Felicity anecdote that happened earlier today <laughs> was um, I was I was eating something, and I put a little bit of the pink Himalayan salt on it. And Shell commented like, oh, getting into that salt jam. And Felicity overhears and is like, what is, what's a salt jam? She's like, I want some salt jam. Yeah, <laughs> salt jam tastes like. It's like, oh, no. It's like, so you know how you can, you can jam on something. How do you describe that? Yeah. <laughs> I like the way she talks about things. Because she saw me with um, something about what I was wearing today was just deceiving to her eyes. And she thought that I had another like a tattoo on my back and she was talking about it and she just went through the whole story of her thoughts of like oh I walked in and I thought you had a tattoo and I was like what no Elena only has a tattoo on her foot (laughs) it's just like her five-year-old like sense of the all the intricacies of it was just cute like I hope she comes out of her shell though because like she's so amazing Mm -hmm. and I don't want other people to like miss out on her Mm -hmm. or for her to like hide who she is because she's nervous with people like totes I want her to be able to come out of her shell with others, too. Mm-hmm. Maybe it'll just be, like, perfect right away. <laughs> but if it's just really good? Right. <laughs> to fill in for anyone who's super-duper curious, the only one who's going to be watching this is, like, Mom <laughs> and Verm, who will each know. But Felicity is starting a once-a-week kind of homeschool, not-at-home kind of thing with other homeschool families, and it's going to be on Tuesday with recording this on a Sunday so it's exciting stuff exciting change she's super jazzed about it and Avery wants to too Aww. when do I get to go to school Aww. two years <laughs> yeah that's not fair yeah <laughs> you just gotta make the days home with him super fun that's too much pressure nope <laughs> do it or else I am not a mom you better hold me for one day <laughs> <laughs> just one day a week try it out 
Kind try, of... try out being a funny aunt for once. I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't really... I, I don't usually. Oh, you guys could, like, take walks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you I, could teach him how to ride his bike. Oh, my gosh. Or, I like, could... steal something from us. Steal something, like, motherly. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I, um... Go get his hair trim. Oh my gosh. Go no. pierce his ears. Tattoo. Yeah, let's go get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Who would tattoo a three year old? No one I'd care to know. We're not talking about your art at all. It's fine. It makes it, <laughs> <laughs> it makes it easier when I'm editing through our voiceovers that I don't have to match it to what's happening on screen. Mm, but um, this yellow dot on the <laughs> cast looks like a booger. <laughs> oh no. Gosh, um, don't worry about those lips that are jutting out. I erased that because it's just all the textures. not working out. Yeah. Like rumply bumply face. <laughs> mm-hmm. So realistic. So real. There I am erasing the lips jutting out because I realized. It's a really difficult shape. You know, I was looking at reference. You won't see the reference, but the there are eye holes for this type of a mask. Um, this is a Chinese opera mask, and um, the lips just come out subtly. I don't know. Even when I get it finalized and complete, I hide it right away because I don't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> I only want to look at it when I start coloring it in. So my immediate thought about your Chinese opera mask is not the performers, okay, but the audience. And okay. I'm like, that's probably not what she means. <laughs> the audience doesn't dress up in masquerade form to mm. watch the opera. It's probably from the it's, performers. It's the performers. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've never seen the type of play that would be in this, but I looked up a lot of information about, I don't know, because there are all these different colors that are used in these types of masks, and I chose to make mine predominantly yellow, but there are all sorts of other meanings for each other one, like, oh, if you make it blue, that means this, or like, if you make it green, that means it's a mischievous character, mm. or, and I can't remember what yellow is meant to be, maybe wise. And there's my sun mask. I was able to kind of reuse certain shapes, like the sun mask and the Chinese opera mask both have some similarities, so I just got the basic form of the Chinese opera mask and copied that over for the sun mask, and then made alterations from there, because they're not exactly the same. And similar to in the A produce video, where I had mentioned that I had made, like I'd started making an artichoke and asparagus, there's an additional mask in here that you'll only see little glimpses of. It's between the antlers and the sun. Mm -hmm. and you won't see it again <laughs> like that. <laughs> You'll see it every once in a while and know that I spent, you know, a good chunk of time working on it and I just couldn't get it to work. But it was supposed to be a kind of a demonish mask. Like, I had a lot of reference and it all looked so cool and I wanted to make my own version and it just wasn't working. <laughs> Maybe in the future I'll decide to put more effort in, but it was just, like, not fun anymore. <laughs> Edit it out of the videos then. I mean, I could blur it out. Oh my goodness, that like just cuss. <laughs> that just requires so much more editing. Um, Are oh. you focusing on not saying like? I'm. I'm noticing it for you that you're not. <laughs> and now I feel like I need to hyper focus on the way I speak. I rest of this video. Yeah, I mean, I've also been listening to you. It seems like you're naturally just not saying like. Oh. <laughs> but now that we're thinking about it, it's going to be hard. You weren't thinking about it? I mean, I was. I was okay. already. I've okay. been really deliberately trying to focus on not saying like, and it's hard. And I also want to try not to say um, mm -hmm. because it's easier to in the audio to just edit out a thoughtful pause than it is to edit out a uh, like in the middle of a sentence kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> but you were trying to do that? I have been. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fiddle work with the audios. Yeah. Is this an owl? <clears throat> it was meant to be... This is what's going to end up being one of the... Um, what is it? Opera masks? Not the, oh. not the Chinese opera one, but like the... Do you have an owl? <laughs> I answered a different question and I didn't answer your original question. <laughs> yeah, when I was first blocking it out, I was kind of thinking it should be like a bird shape but I realized that wasn't what I wanted to do, so I made it more of a Venetian. <laughs> you should make an owl. Shall I don't. I make a skull mask. I make a fox. <laughs> what else do you want from me? Owl. Shall <laughs> answer it? Answered. Mm-hmm. Gosh, does it feel like um, brain surgery sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? This one is going to be the skull mask, but okay. I think this one takes me the longest to get, to get it looking the way it ought to, what usually happens when I take so long for, for this kind of thing is that I'm not looking at reference, and I really need to. 
You have done schools in the past, though. I Should have. you be an expert? That sounds really sassy. <laughs> I don't you know how a skull looks? <laughs> I didn't consider it sassy until you said it. <laughs> I, I guess that's why I thought I could do it without reference. I just, I kind of know what a skull looks like. No, maybe the issue is that I wasn't sure if I should do a humanoid skull or an animalistic skull. Mm. So I just took a while fiddling with it. And finally, I looked at reference of just art of skulls and real skulls. And I don't know, it turned out better that way. And it was also, I think the skull is the one I'm the least satisfied with because all the other ones, I was thinking about how they should, like, because these are masks. And so it's... If I'm making it into a mask, am I thinking, oh, this is a real skull that someone like whittled down, or is it a plastic mask that has skull art of it? Oh. But <laughs> so that's all that I'm trying to think about because I do just imagine that these are made of wood or plastic or what have you. But the skull is the one that I have the hardest time re- reconciling that with. And even when I'm texturing it, <laughs> I make it kind of realistic ish even though it should just be plasticky if you were asking me which one am I not happy with that's the answer how often do you work on the whole face and then realize man I should just cut this in half it seems like you you start working with it and then all of a sudden you just chop it in half it's like oh that doesn't mean anything bad it means you're still working but like is it um is it a little late for doing it, or is this how you want it to go? <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to ask. It's just, it's part of what I do all the time. Okay, I think that I would be chopping it in half a lot less often if I used the symmetry. Because there's a way to do it where you just turn on symmetry, and it will do all those changes to both sides if you only affect one half of the face. But what I did is, like, I don't have symmetry on. I just work on one half of the face, and then I mirror it so that I can see what I'm working with if it becomes unclear. And the reason I do that is because sometimes symmetry gets really irritating where, uh, like this happens all the time when I'm trying to merge vertices like I did just then, but uh, I don't know how to explain this because I'm not gonna be showing it on the screen, you know, because I'm not using symmetry. But what happens sometimes is, say I have a vertice selected on one half of the face and I wanna merge it with another separate vertice, it will, you know, I'll have those two vertices that I wanna merge selected and it'll have that selected on the opposite side as well if I have symmetry on but I think that the program gets confused because then it'll merge all four of the connected vertices together and just bunk things up so I have symmetry offs because there are just a few little functions that can't handle it and those are the ones that I use a lot when I'm modeling so it just feels very (laughs) aggressive (laughs) No, it just means I've made enough changes to the face that I need to see uh, the whole product and just get it all just mad. It's not. It's just a natural (laughs) thing. I think I even do it more often and I edit out. I imagine you cut the face in half and then you go take a break and then you can come back and focus. (laughs) No, it's just a normal part of the process and it doesn't have any emotion tied to it. Delete your art. Delete your art. (laughs) Cut the faces in half. (laughs) Speaking to delete your art, there's the demon face watching me. <laughs> I'm so curious about him, though. <laughs> it just was hard because there were going to be teeth kind of protruding from that demon face and uh, like extra horns in it, in the lips and the teeth, and it just wasn't working. <laughs> was that the one you did first then? Huh? Because it seems the most like modeled and given up on oh, while mm. you're making the other ones on the side. I mean, the, the, that one is pretty fully developed. I just do them so all this like, is real based on interest. This is all real time to sped up? You do them all staggered? I thought you like edited it no. to be cute. Oh my gosh. No, I just, I need to work on a bunch of things at once. So this is the chronological order that I was working on huh. things in. Because even when I'm texturing things, I work on them in a staggered order. But with texturing, they're not all in the same file. They're only in the same file when I'm modeling them, because I export them as their own object for texturing. So with those ones, even though they're all staggered, the order that I'm drawing them in, I do splice those all together in a more cohesive way where it's like, okay, only look at this one mask for a while while I texture it, and I'll show the final result and then move on to the next one. But the modeling has to be all haphazard, because it would be really hard for me to 
I don't know, it's like because I zoom out so much, you'd be seeing kind of spoilers of what the other masks are gonna look oh, like. That's true. So it would be hard for me to do that in a seamless way. So you guys will just always get a chaotic modeling process where I do a bunch of things at once. But the texturing should be nice each time. <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be harder to make individual videos of just one mask and trying to like spice all the different footage. Yeah. Gosh, that'd be so much thinking. It was like, they all have like a level one, level two kind of thing in your head. So it's just like, okay, that one reached that level. Mm -hmm. Next, jump over here to this one again. Yeah. But that's just how you live that's in general. <laughs> that's just how I live. Oh, she's mad. She's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then a lot of the times I'll hide them when I'm, when I feel like I've gotten to a good point. But it's also nice because if I were working with each of these masks in their own individual file, I think it'd be hard for me to know when I was done adding detail or whatever. So I kind of am comparing each of the masks to each other. Like this one has this level of detail. I want the rest to kind of match in a way. So mm. I'm going to keep on working on it. Like I'm not done yet because see how they all look lined up together. One of these doesn't belong. So just keep on working on it. And like size too. Yeah, moment. size. But then the size doesn't always matter because I end up resizing things when it gets compared to something else. Like I'm about to... I've been making a different scene this week that has a lot of things of varying sizes because I just don't have a standard yet, but I'm going to have to resize like all the things I import into that because they're all relative to each other within each file, but not anything else that I make. <laughs> and there's the Venetian mask. You can't just have a floating bit. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. Things can't float off of the mask. They all have to be connected. <laughs> You're lucky I'm here. Yeah. What would I do without you to tell me that? <laughs> now, are these masks that would be like strung around the head or would they be held up by the stick? That's something that I started thinking about toward the end of this process. Or like, those like um, gravity <laughs> defying ones like in Doctor Who. Ooh. Remember I, she had one that fit her face? Gosh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Put up a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> up on there. I don't know which. It was from, um, the beast below. Okay, interesting. Yes, she was the queen of England on the the. Um, yeah, I can Sky remember the character thing. of that. I was like so. I was so prepared for you to start referencing the. I think it's the twelfth Doctor. Like you know that I didn't watch his no. season. Actually, I think Phantom of the Opera also his mask was just on his face. It just was huh. stuck. It just worked. It's just stuck. <laughs> interesting. So to answer your question, <laughs> no, I had thought about how these things would be connected to a face, kind of, but I decided I didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> so no, our business. These <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so these are all more decorative. There's a scene I'm going to put them in later, and they're just going to be, I mean, not in this video, but something I'm doing in my own time that <laughs> will be a different video. <laughs> but those will just be wall hangings in a way, because I didn't, I was thinking for a while I should make holes that could attach to some string or I should make straps that could attach to a head etc but I don't know if because I was thinking if I were to make a character that would have this mask on I don't think it would fit anyway because it would need to f flow with that character's face mm -hmm. and I don't know I just I didn't plan for that from the very beginning so it wasn't really something I felt the need to keep considering when I got to the end of it it's just like, these are decorative, this is art, I don't care about making it attached to a face. And finally, this is looking like a skull. Yay me. And I, even looking at it now, I don't know, I guess because of the teeth, I would think it's an animal skull. But what animal? I don't know. Human animal. <laughs> and then, okay, now the demon mask is gone forever. I finally deleted it. <laughs> oh, so you zoomed that one down a little bit. <laughs> Size does matter. <laughs> Oh, there's that fox mask. <gasps> Where'd he go? You didn't like him anymore? <laughs> yeah. Here's this. This one is the most artsy mask that I have of all of these, because the rest of them were based on something real I've seen in other places, but this one was my own brainchild. Oh yeah, I wasn't <laughs> sure about if I should have this element, so I had to keep comparing, like, that half, that half, does it look good? And it's not going to remain that darker gray color, it'll, you'll, you'll find out later. Gosh, but like, don't you ever like get into 
in the zone <laughs> with a mask and just like want to keep going. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but yeah. you stop yourself and you had to go to the next one. No, that okay. I was. What I'm doing right now is to distract myself from the sun mask because I can't make a decision about the eye situation. So this is a nice um, palette cleanser oh. to just look at a different mask. I did the Venetian one for a hot second. I'm working on this one for a little bit. And then I can go back to the sun mask and feel energized for it. Hmm. So that's why I like working on a bunch at a time because I do get kind of sick of them. But if I don't get sick of any of them, then yeah, I can continue however long I want. Because it's your choice. I feel like that's a policy. <laughs> <laughs> Super sharp, like vampire. <laughs> mm. Do you ever try and like add your initials in somewhere? Ooh, I have not yet. Now I'll be thinking about it. Just like sneaky ones. <laughs> I do it for me so that I can try and find them in oh the video. My... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the um, the illustrator and author for the Arthur books? Didn't he do that with his kids' yeah. names? And also I mean, those a lot um... of Arthur's. Uh, Arthur's. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Arthur. <laughs> kids books like to include those hidden animals that you can find them all mm, so yes inclusive hidden animals for me <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll try there is this one thing i've made i think it'll be maybe two or three weeks from this video but it's for the little nook i've been talking about and i need to make some thing framed in it so i'm making a frame and i was also needing to make a drawing for that and I was thinking for a while, like, should I sign this drawing that's inside this picture frame? <laughs> Didn't Eric talk to you about, you always sign your art, Lena? I, I don't know. Oh, he, if, I remember it. Oh, <laughs> if that's a conversation, I mean, I'm glad one of us retained it. Tell me. <laughs> I don't remember. It was just something random you made for me once. Maybe it was our, our wedding picture with the tree. <laughs> so it's like, Lena, you didn't sign it. And I feel like, I feel like Eric had to have been there because it was at our wedding or something, whatever it was. I was like, Lena, you didn't sign it. You're like, whatever, whatever. I was like, no, Eric, get over here. Lena didn't sign it. So oh it was like gosh. one of those times where it was like, yeah, he had my back and he had a lot to say about it. Gosh. You always sign your art, Lena. Why didn't that resonate with you? <laughs> I don't know. Why didn't mom stabbing your thumb open resonate oh with either gosh. of you two? <laughs> my pointer finger. <laughs> if you said thumb, that didn't resonate with her. Say pointer finger. Mm, that is it. I keep misremembering it as thumb. I guess that's just like the juiciest finger Gosh. <laughs> more interesting one to stab but the pointer finger gets used more yeah. i mean i guess the thumb does just as much with being the picker upper the thumb's know. worthwhile okay so of our topics random questions i had one for game of thrones i was oh, wondering no. no this should be easy enough well maybe <laughs> i was wondering if Tyrion ever dies um, no, he does not die. At one point, oh my gosh, at one point he is fighting somewhere and it so seems like someone sliced his head off, like Ooh. from here to there uh -huh. and just his whole head was about to fall off. Uh -huh. But no, it was just a flesh wound. <laughs> but it's like how it just happened, like anyone else that would have been, you know, half a head sliding off yeah. the head and I really right. thought that was the end of him. <laughs> but no, then he just had a cool scar the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. But he, I do believe, was... One of the ones that lived all the way through. Did he continue, like, did he serve then as, like, an advisor to Bran or whatever? He went to work with Daenerys in the end. But he she's... Was, like, with the dragons and everything. Like, he was super into seeing them and wanted to connect with them. But she's not in the picture anymore. So what happens with him? What's his ultimate? And I think both <laughs> of his siblings are dead, too, aren't they? <laughs> she... oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I think that Jamie and um, Cersei, they both died together. And I don't think he died. I think because he was doing good stuff. He, he, wanted, he wanted to see Daenerys be the queen of everything and take care of, you know, all the dragons. And she was doing better things than Cersei was. So I don't think he did. Okay. Just wondering. Because that was one of the few characters who I ever really tuned in with. It was... Arya, Sansa, Daenerys, and Tyrion. They were the interesting ones. Except for Tyrion, I think that there were a lot of talking bits with his character, so I couldn't really stay as in tune with him as I could with the other three. But I still hold, held him dear. Um, I was also wondering, did Sansa have literally any support at all in her home? Because she stayed in Winterfell, but she's the only one of the siblings. So did she just have enough support from the other people in her community? Because it's like, what happens? She's only like 16... I just feel bad for her. Well, she once she got rid of um, 
Ramsey, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, once she got rid of him, she kind of just took back over and she found her stride. Okay. So she was, she did get to be a leader in Aunt Winterfell again because they took it back over okay. from Ramsey. So she's just doing what she's used to doing then. Yeah, so, right. I, yeah, she was just, she was just there and then when Jon Snow and when um, Bran, they came back, she was there already. She was <laughs> just like all, she's, you know, she had the best care for Winterfell Winterfell all mm-hmm. to herself already, so okay. whatever the other ones were doing, she was going to stay there because she took it over. Gotcha. <laughs> Got it. Um, so I have a list of all of your shows and stuff that are not really my shows, <laughs> so it's just weird, this transition between Game of Thrones, and now I have a question about The Office. So, Will Ferrell's character, <laughs> <laughs> did he leave in disgrace, his character? No, he he left because he got injured. <laughs> they, um, He was the boss for a while, and... Everyone wanted to play... No, that was the other guy. Anyway, they... they were th- oh, he... <laughs> he was like, yeah, I can dunk. I can still dunk. And so Jim, like, egged him on so much, like, show us. Prove us to... Prove, prove that you can dunk. And so he does, and he... he the whole basketball <laughs> thing falls on top of him, and he's in the hospital. Oh. And that's it. He's oh, done. no. He really wasn't there very long. I was getting him confused with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, was it the, I've been awake a while guy? Yes, yes it was him. <laughs> So he Sorry. yeah he wasn't there very long he's just a cute little maybe two two episodes maybe three okay and that's how he left. <laughs> Gosh, I feel so flustered telling my stories. I don't know how much you have to edit my talking. You you talk good. <laughs> <laughs> mm, we didn't talk What's about this. That? It's wood grain. Oh, <laughs> how did you know it was bad? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and so that's what I'm talking about. There's a little bit of detail on the inside of the mask, and that's just the wood grain. And later I add some brush stroke details, but you'll see that when you see it. <laughs> so I like the smoothing out. <laughs> I would hope so. There's Is gonna it be... so satisfying to smooth out? I make it satisfying in the edit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it does take a lot of takes to do a, the best stroke. Mm. So I only keep in the best one for the video edit. Because that's what makes it satisfying and nice to see. <laughs> so I like seeing it at this point. But when I was doing it, it was... You wanted to cut that mask in half. <laughs> <Shell>. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of smoothing out of stuff in this video. Because I... Especially with the... Um, I mean, these first three. The fox one, the Venetian one, and the Chinese opera mask. There are just mm. a lot of... <laughs> there are a lot of little things that I need to kind of block out the design of. Like this fox one was kind of hard because first I was looking at other kind of fox masks because this is whole like a whole category of masks. It's not my original thought for it. But I was looking at art of this kind of mask, looking at these kinds of masks in general. And then finally, I just had to look at reference of real life foxes. Aww. And that's how I figured out how to color it in. Do you have a shortcut to click between like the eraser one and... and- your color I do and it's really irritating too because for substance painter the brush tool you hit one for that and erase is two but for photoshop that hotkey is just b for brush e for eraser and what have you and lately I've been using photopia for certain things and I'm not sure if it's exactly the same in photoshop I can't remember if it does this but if I'm in brush mode or erase mode and I hit one or two to get to one or the other, it'll change the opacity of the brush tool oh, instead no. of what I want. So it'll make it go to, um, it'll do an increment. So it's like sometimes I'll be <laughs> using the brush tool, I'll hit two to get to eraser, but it'll just make the opacity 20% for the brush. <laughs> and so I'm like doing more stuff with it, thinking I'm erasing, but it's just coloring on very lightly. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's a mental thing that I have to... It's like speaking in a different language. You just have to keep clue yourself into that, and it's really irritating. Do you ever like put physical notes out? I don't anymore. When I was going between Maya, ZBrush, and 3ds Max, those all have <laughs> different... For Maya, a lot of the navigation, you do it with the left mouse button, which is the most natural. It's like the clicking, how you'd normally click on a mouse. But I think ZBrush is really right 
mouse click dominant and then 3ds max is more middle mouse dominant you have to click those ones a lot i might be getting those other two s switched around but with that one i did have to have a little sticky note to remind me because i am more used to maya and i couldn't remember what the other two would be so i just had to keep that in mind <laughs> i want to add one little dot of <laughs> not properly colored in for just for you <laughs> Ooh, I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's like a lily pad. Hmm. Oh, okay, so this is interesting right now because I was thinking if this were a real life mask, it would be painted with physical paint. So I needed to make those brush strokes for that color. So I'm doing that here, just adding with only the height making any impact, oh. like no color on this brush, just height. <laughs> and then I'm getting the brush strokes. And because I use fill layers and masks and all that, I just copy the mask over like between the color layer and the brush layer. And so all the lines are clean between each color like it would be if you were painting each color in real life. Beautiful. Oh, that is so bright. <laughs> That's just your TV screen. <laughs> and here's the Venetian mask. This beginning part where I... <laughs> I'm trying to get a spray paint kind of look and it's mm -hmm. two different colors and I think I spend a little too long on it but I couldn't think of a way to edit it down because it just aside from just speeding it up really fast but I just keep on not just Ooh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I think this is how oh. I get it handled. <laughs> you said edit it. 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 Edited it and edited it. What about past tense? It. Hmm. <laughs> when I edit it, but I edited it. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it a couple. Of... Uh, what is the one? Double. Oh, singled out, doubled out. <laughs> <laughs> I was also wondering about what's her face. I don't know her character name, but Donna Noble. Her uh -huh. in the office. Did she leave in disgrace? No, we love her. <laughs> Not at the beginning, though. <laughs> I mean, I didn't dislike her in the beginning. I she... guess because of her treatment of Andy, but that was just... I think because I already knew who she was, <laughs> I was never going to dislike her character. Oh, I see. <laughs> but she she did come on very strong mm -hmm. and negatively. <laughs> but in the end, you root for her for sure. Okay. And she even has... She has fun moments even when she is being the boss when Andy... <laughs> but he, Andy fell apart. Yeah. So he he, he, he wasn't really doing well for the company. <laughs> but she just took his job anyway. <laughs> so it was its own thing. But she didn't. Uh, she was good. And okay. we liked her. <laughs> this here, um, I'm just sketching out. I haven't decided on a final look for it yet. So I'm just using these two different colors. I know that I just want to have two different colors for this kind of thing. And maybe I'll do this kind of thing, maybe not, and so don't fall in love with all of these little elements, because maybe they'll stay, maybe they won't. It's up to me. You don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did this so long ago. But Ooh. what's fun for me is toward the end, because I like I the know. dots. Do they stay? <laughs> I don't know. Some of them do, but not all. But yeah, some of the, the part I like of this is when I make make it pop like I did with the paint at the end of the fox one, I do this too, because I feel like it's, I don't know, the references that I was looking at for Venetian masks, some of them had kind of like puffy paint, so I had to find a way to do that, and you'll see how the cookie crumbles. I had a really dumb thought in the shower the other day. Yas. There is a program. Tell me some of your programs. Okay. Um, so I use Maya, Mudbox, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, After Effects, there's ZBrush, 3DS Max, um, Blender? Nope. <sighs> Premiere? No. Maybe if I tell you my dumb thought, you'll remember what it's called. Photopia? No. <laughs> uh, Photoshop? <laughs> Whatever it's called, it's called like, hey, bingo. Um, so it's like, well, what should I name my program? Or like, <sighs> That doesn't ring any bells for you. <laughs> hey, bingo. No, it's not that. Don't think about that. But it's like, um, GoPro. Hey, bingo. It, can, it, it just sounds like it can be a, like, good job, buddy. Okay. Um, like someone talking to you. So it's like, 
Oh man, they gave me inspiration for what I should call my program because they just said, "Nice bud." Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what program is it? How do you not know? I um I want to help you. <laughs> I want to help you in so many ways. It's like plus ultra. Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a program, but it was like, like a tool. Bingo. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so don't worry about this spray paint that I've just painted all over you all my face. <laughs> no, this is how I'm going to make it puffy. <laughs> You'll see. So right now, what was yellow before is now that yellow that I... Ugh, this is so hard to explain. But now I'm, I'm adding all the height to it. Oh. And I'm also... <gasps> that's going to be for the brown little detail bits there. Ooh. See? So I copy and paste the mask from whatever it is I'd done before. It's like glitter glue. Yeah, that's what I was trying to <laughs> make it come across as. There's no glitter glue preset though, which makes it hard. So this one was fun to sketch out because there are just a lot of different designs for Chinese opera masks and just the way that they're painted. So I figure out a few different looks that I that appeal to me and then I delete some of those things and then just find other ones. Because right now there's something going on with kind of the look of the eyebrows in a way where it's just, it looks concerned or just sad and I don't really like that. So I make it into something a little, I don't know, more fierce and I like mm. that one better. So you'll see. And then what I have uh, on the lower part of the face looks kind of too much like a mustache and I think I changed that to look different too. So yeah, it's all, and it's all stuff that I saw on actual masks. I was looking at a lot of reference for this one and just kind of married a few different elements for this one mask. I saw yellow in it too. Isn't there yellow later? Yeah, there will be. It's going to start off as blue, but don't be deceived. I'm going to change that to yellow. <laughs> don't be deceived. Blue. The blue color you're seeing is actually yellow. Oh, it really <laughs> yeah. looks blue though. Shell. <laughs> will become yellow it's what I wanted because I I was enjoying the blue for a little bit but then it was all red white and blue <laughs> oh, just, yeah. it looked too American British French all the ones all the flags that use red white and blue Indeed. I keep wanting to see whiskers come like you start out these lines hmm. and it wants to be whiskers but you <laughs> stop Shall I? you're not brave enough I suppose not <laughs> Yeah, there's something about the mouth. I'm like, I don't want it to look like it's smiling. <laughs> so I changed that. I think this is the most whiskery you're going to get. Hmm. Oh. I, I like that all the colors don't touch. Yeah, I was I was careful about that. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's a little bit like um, doing your makeup. Yeah. It's weird to look back on how I used to do texturing because I used to just get the UVs out and open the flat UV file in Photoshop and draw from there. I didn't use 3D drawing software, I don't know, way back when. I think I did during school, but only if I was using Mudbox, but then also Photoshop. It was a whole process. I'm just shocked at myself. Substance Painter is a great program. I had a question about... <laughs> something for sure well we reached the smoothing out part yeah well there's this one little bit of animation minutia that i really wanted to tell you uh i think this was a couple of months ago because i heard it first <laughs> shortly after we watched spider-verse together um I was watching some video where they were talking about the process of whatever, but the video was obviously made by someone who was not into animation themselves or had no education in it because they were saying something like, <laughs> and I've heard this used before as an example in different movies, um, and it's like every time someone comes across this bit of animation minutia, they think it's the first time it's been done is for this movie. But they were saying about Spider-Verse, like, oh, they, like, really went above and beyond for this one. Like, the animators, they even filmed themselves doing some of the actions before animating it themselves just to, like, really get the real poses and all that stuff. And it's like, huh. that is just what animators do. <laughs> like, everyone...
everyone has done it. You can see there are like pictures of old Disney animators and like Looney Tunes animators who have mirrors in front of them as they work so that they can or make faces. The lion in Lion King, they had a real lion to see how a lion <laughs> moved. Do you remember that? His name was Arthur. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying like, uh, I don't know. They were showing all these examples of Miles like eating at the diner or something like mm-hmm. that. And it's like this woman had filmed herself in that pose and, you know, saying the lines um, so she could refer to that later. And it's like, that's just huh. a standard. Like, it's not something special they did. It is special. Cool. But <laughs> I'm going to use it. On Michelle. <laughs> anyway, so that was something that's been on my mind. Um, cause I think that people talked about that once for, I saw a video talking about, um, I am legend, I think. And they were talking about like, Oh, look at the, the animators just did this for, um, you know, they filmed themselves doing this and it's just like, you guys just, just read one book. <laughs> Gosh, every color is its own layer. So you're erasing, but it's not erasing the other colors. Yeah. This is the first time this has ever been done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I'm so mad. <sighs> you start your classes this week, right? Uh, tomorrow. Gosh. Yeah, like I thought I was so proud when I was telling you how I staggered my starts and ends. Mm-hmm. But really what it amounts to is I start two classes tomorrow. Another one starts the week after and another one starts the week after that. Mm-hmm. They all end within two days of each other. Oh, so weird. So it's not as cute and fun as I thought. Dang. <laughs> so, only two classes start tomorrow. That's not too bad to think about mm-hmm. for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Which two classes? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I think it's my science and my ECE, I think. Okay, cool. Here I'm going in again with just the height brush to add brush strokes. And don't worry about sloppy edges because I copy over the mask. First time anyone's ever done this. <laughs> it's not your weapon if I take it for myself. <laughs> and you do it with each color individually. Mm-hmm. Love, I love it. <laughs> you don't even have to do the oh, other side. I, I do, but I cut that out of the video edit because it was just kind of boring. But yeah, the inside of it is painted kind of... No, I just meant oh. you were mirroring mirror, mirroring from the my right side looking mm. at it. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you started mirroring from the other side. Why does that word sound weird? <laughs> I don't know. Am I saying it weird? Because you're weird. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't always work only on the right side. I think maybe it is easier to get the angle oftentimes, but I will Ooh. sometimes. Yeah, I'm happy about that one. <laughs> now the sun, right? Oh, oh, the skull. The skull. This See, one's gonna be fast then. It is Aren't pretty we fast. Done soon? It's pretty fast. <laughs> um, but not this... in a bad way. <laughs> I just thought the time was running out. Tis. Yeah, the last two take hardly any time at all. So this one is not really as long as those first three, but it it takes a little chunk. But this was why I was complaining earlier. Like I, I can see my oh. thought process right now. I'm trying to make it look like a real, you know, decayed skull. Rumpley bumpley. Yep. It's not complete. That's the technical term. And it doesn't look like it's plastic because I didn't make it look like plastic. But I probably should have. I don't know. But I add my own little Elena element. I make a little design on the forehead. You'll see. Who is it your name? No. Is it a secret message? <laughs> no. You know, there's in some of the footage that I'm still editing of... Um, oops, sorry, the, there's a cat near me and it's knocking my phone. Oh, here I go with my design. <gasps> oh! In some footage that you'll see much later of when I was making my reel, um, I did add my last name to a lot of stuff. So you can look out for that, I suppose. But I don't know if I add my first name to things very often. Do you use our Chinese symbol at all? I don't think I have... Uh, not in my reel. Not yet. Hmm. But maybe so I should. you don't have any family pride? I have for just our name. <laughs> <laughs> I did use our Chinese written out name like for the necklace that one time a few years ago. Hmm. Okay, so that one I wanted to talk about, but I used kind of like a pencil-ish kind of brush because I made it and I made it all smoothed out, this thing, but then I realized if I want it to look kind of rustic, I need to make it more, you know, scratchy looking. And so I used a thin brush to make it look like someone used a tool that wasn't just a smooth paintbrush on a program. <laughs> And then I try to look at mo- make it look even more realistic. I don't know why, but I'm just adding some more shadowy, like 
decayed parts. Why? Why am I doing it? For fun. Yeah, just for kicks. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, these last two take hardly any time because they're just they're just blank blank colors. <laughs> the horns are gonna be um, the gold. Horns, the horns. Mm-hmm. It's just what I was thinking. <sighs> Since there's only a minute or so left, I have a really important question oh, for you. <laughs> Tell me um, everything about um, the plot of Veronica Mars. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, actually, it was a long just time ago. No, we used to be friends. <laughs> so that's that mask. Nice. I like how it's so shiny golden. <laughs> shiny golden horn. Uh -huh. This one is just a quick end because it's just I don't know. I was able to use the the presets, so I didn't really have to do much of anything at all. Ooh. But my I did have one question about Veronica Mars. Did she ever marry? Just no. answer yes or no. 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 I, <laughs> On that note, the I end. um. Do you recognize the Chinese opera mask better now? I do, I it. do, and I can see the white lines in between, <laughs> even far away. I like that they all have like a golden theme to them. Just looking at it, it's just like they're all very shiny. Even the even the even the skull and the opera mask, like they just have shininess. Like the paint looks shiny, the gold Sh looks shiny, <laughs> mm -hmm. and the sun is shiny. <laughs> Even the horns are shining. Yeah. In addition to the sun rays. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that there's shadows. Uh, okay. Well, the thing is, they're not shadows because I turned shadows off for this render, but they are reflections. That's what I meant. Because I make a... That's what I meant. Wait. Change it because I don't want to sound like I'm nitpicking you. Right. Oh, I love that they're... <laughs> <laughs> And I love the reflections. It's like a glass table where you can mm. see them underneath. Mm -hmm. So yes. cool. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Bye. Are you going to do your outro ditty? I don't have one. You do. Do I? <laughs> Did I do it last time? Wow. <laughs>